In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image, duplicate it, then clip it to text in this Easy Effects template. So let's get started. The first thing um, about this particular template is you really should make sure that you have this font installed. So I want to show you exactly where to find that. Let's go open a browser. Um, I like to use dafont.com. All of these are free. So we're going to type in American Captain, which is the name of this font. And you'll find that in your font file in your download. So once you search for that, you'll find the font here. You'll just want to go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, you can unzip it and install it. So let's head back over to Photoshop now. Um, and once you open up, once you install your font, you want to do that first and then come back and open up your template. Um, so we'll start by, we've got the template open. I've also got the photo that I'd like to use open. So let's head over to the template. Um, let's make sure that we're on step number one because we're going to add our background photo first. Okay, now we're going to go back to our photo. Now we're going to grab our move tool up top here and we're going to click on the image. We're going to drag it up to the template tab then we're going to let it drop down on the canvas. From here you can size your image. So control T on your keyboard and <clears throat> very important when you're sizing your images you want to make sure that you size them proportionally. So you'll want to hold down your shift key while grabbing any one of these four corners and you want to drag it in from any one of the corners until you like how it looks. It actually fits in there pretty nicely. I want her face just a little bit bigger because I would like this line to sort of go between her eyes, sort of down the middle of her nose. Um, so I like how that looks. Um, some people do have a hard time with holding down the shift key and grabbing the four corners. So another option is to just come up top here and hit this maintain aspect ratio button. Okay. And then you can just hit enter on your keyboard and that'll go ahead and that'll set the size there. So now that you've got this in place, we're going to duplicate this layer. So right click, duplicate layer. <clears throat> and we're going to take this layer now and we're going to move it up in your layer palette just above step number two. Okay? And now we're going to right click. We want to clip this. We want to create a clipping mask. And this is going to clip it to your text. And now you can see that we've got her on top of the text and we've also got her behind the black. Um, very important. Next is to hold down, while we have this um, top image selected, hold down your control or command if you're on a Mac and click on your, your first photo. Right click and let's link those layers. Now once these layers are linked, we can reposition this or resize this without losing the alignment of the photos. That's very important. So now if we decide that we want to resize this, we can hit Control T again, and it's going to size both of, the, both of these layers together. So again, hold down your Shift key. Let's maybe make her just a tad bigger. Maybe move her this way. Maybe bring it down a little bit so we can see that. Graduation cap. And again, hit Enter on your keyboard. Now, the beauty of this is if you like this um, quote, that's fantastic. But if you'd rather type in your own quote, you can simply double click on the T layer. That will select your text. And you can type your own quote. And it will still take on all of the same properties where you'll have your top layer showing through and, and you'll have your bottom layer underneath. 
that's the beauty of this template. You can put in your own quote or you can use the one that we have here.